Welcome back to CM Fab. I'm Chris. This is my 1981 Toyota race truck. We've K24 swapped it with a BMW transmission. We've got our turbo mounted. In this episode, we're going to take these plastic pieces and design a exhaust manifold. That way we can order up the correct stainless steel pieces and weld them together and get, get this thing moving along. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you in a few. Uh, like I said in the intro, I'm going to try and start my manifold in this video, or at least uh, get a plan of how it's going to look. Um, I'm going to start with cutting off this old inch and a half um, collector here and get the new one put on, or at least tacked on. That way, uh, when I bolt this to the engine and this to the turbo, all I'll have to do is connect the dots with my 3D printed pieces here. Um, these should be the same radius as the stainless exhaust tubing that I'll use. And that way I can plan it out in plastic before uh, screwing up the expensive stainless. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start with, with uh, the cutting and the welding and then go to the boring stuff, which is just plastic. I don't know if the time lapse showed it very well, but I was tapping around each primary with a hammer just to make sure they, the tube in the flange itself is flush. That way, uh, when I go to actually start designing the manifold, I don't have to worry about um, each one of these pointing in a different direction or anything. They're pointing all straight out of the, uh, the head. Um, they're not tack welded in there or anything. I don't think I'm going to do that until I get each primary how I want it, and then I'll go ahead and Kind of weld as I go. All right, so with everything in here, you can kind of see how little space there is. Um, not quite sure how I'm going to do it yet. Not even sure if it's going to be able to be done yet. I think it will. Uh, probably shouldn't have built the mount so permanent, just in case. But anyways, um, that'll just make me do it. Uh, the plan is to kind of do some loops. So come out of number one and get down into this top passenger side. And number two should be able to go down into the bottom side down here. Number three should be able to go into the top right here. And then number four should go into the bottom driver's side. Again, I don't know if that's exactly how it's going to work or if it's even going to work, but uh, this is going to be a learning experience. I have seen turbo manifolds built in smaller spaces, uh, like some LS stuff I've seen built in a pretty tight I actually think I have turbo LS headers somewhere around here, but uh, I don't know. I've never built one, so we're going to see how it's going to work. See down there, there's not a whole lot of space, but we'll figure something out. Either that or this is going to quickly turn into an NA build, um, which would probably be a lot easier.
All right, so here's kind of the first version of this manifold, at least in plastic. Um, it did not turn out like I thought it was going to the first time I started talking about it, but I think it's coming out maybe a little bit better and a little bit simpler. Um, rather than having like two big swooping things, kind of like uh, if you've ever looked at um, 4AG stuff with Toyota, they have the big swooping headers that come like way out up high. I was going to do something like that to get down into these top two um, parts of the collector, but I didn't end up need to do that. So uh, you can see it kind of turned out okay given the space. Uh, one thing I learned is that they don't all need to be this inch and three quarter center line radius, uh, which is the bend radius on the actual tubing itself. Um, there's some straights right here that go from a 90 to a straight down to a 90. Um, and I think it would look better if it was just one big 180. So I'm going to find a different center line radius for these plastic pieces and print that um, and see how it looks. And then uh, down here at the bottom, same kind of concept. It goes into a straight and then into a, a 22 and then into the collector. I kind of just want to get rid of the straights as much as possible and just have it. Uh, I don't know if it'll flow better or if it'll just look better, but um, not as much of a bundle of snakes as I thought it was going to be. So that's good. So yeah, that fourth uh, primary back there should go into the bottom driver's side uh, collector pretty easy. I just ran out of tubing. When I print more, I'll take the tubing I've used here and just throw it on there. And they don't stay very well, as you can tell by the tape. And they like flop around pretty easy. So maybe when I go to make them out of stainless, I'll either tape each individual uh, section or um, plastic weld them together. Maybe I have like a little plastic stapler thing I can use, but I kind of want to keep these reusable in case I can use them in the future for more projects. Uh, but we'll see. Anyways, I think it's coming along pretty good. I am going to take a break probably for today and then print up some more of these uh, little pieces and go from there. All right, so I don't think that I explain uh, what these are or explained it very well, um, but they are what's known as like a uh, manifold build kit or exhaust build kit. Um, a couple different companies sell them. They come in a lot of different sizes from like inch and a half all the way up to probably four or five inches, depending on, I guess, uh, what you would be building, like a diesel downpipe or something. Uh, but I ended up actually downloading these from Thingiverse, which if you're not familiar with is um, kind of like a collective of a whole bunch of different 3D printable designs, uh, mostly stuff that I'm not interested in, like anime and... Uh, uh, anyways, what they do is they kind of click together um, so that you can create different, I guess, bend radiuses or bend angles. Um, this one happens to be inch and, uh, inch and three quarter OD and inch and three quarter center line. So if you were to have a 180 from the center of each tube would be um, an inch and three quarter. Or let me see if I can do it real quick. Uh, yeah, so an inch and three quarter between the two tubes. Sorry, right there. Um, and they come in, again, all different sizes and shapes. So you can have that, two, that distance be uh, inch and three quarter or three inches, five inches, whatever it might be um, that you need. Um, I got this, again, off of Thingiverse. So I'll link down below the file that I use in case you're interested. Um, I didn't design it, so I don't want to take credit. Uh, yeah, again, this... Pretty awesome. You can again do a 180. You can do like 290s. They're basically like pie cuts um, if you were to actually do it on steel. Uh, and again, you can do any angle you want, any kind of shape you need to fit into interesting spaces like you're going to find on this truck. Um, anyways, uh, I'm going to go print some more of these because I ran out while doing that manifold. Um, and then hopefully, either tonight or tomorrow, I'll come out and finish the design and order up some of the right size.
All right, so the plastic turbo manifold is done. Um, like I said before, I was going to swap out this section for a uh, bigger centerline radius, which I did. This is now three inch centerline radius, so it's three inches from this bend to the other bend down here. Um, it is actually 180 degrees, so that worked out kind of perfect. Hopefully, I could just buy a 180 and kind of cut it in the middle and twist it just a little bit. And then I also knock out that fourth primary back there. And like I said, it just goes down and then straight into the, uh, the bottom side of the collector. Uh, the other one stayed exactly the same, so nothing to worry about there. I think the only thing I might change when I go to make it out of steel is remove this straight and then remove a straight down here so this whole tube is kind of closer. As you can see down here, maybe if I can get in there. Nope. Oh. There's a gap uh, between the two tubes here that uh, I don't really need. So uh, I'll go ahead and kind of bring that whole thing in just a little bit. I think that runner is already the longest one. Uh, so I want to make it as short as possible, kind of get close to the other ones. Not that it's going to be an equal length manifold or anything, not that it needs to be, but I want them at least to be somewhat close together. All right, I think that's going to do it for this one. Um, it is hopefully going to be a short video anyways. It shouldn't be too long just to make that out of plastic. Um, again, I did it out of plastic so that I can get an idea of how much steel to order. I've never built one before, so I had no clue to where I even start. Uh, so now that I have an idea, I'm going to go ahead and order the stuff to make it for real and then uh, wait for that to get here and hopefully that'll be the next video. Uh, if not, if that takes too long, I'll do something else over here. I reached out to a buddy to have some stuff cut for the front suspension, so maybe that'll get here first, who knows. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, please do all the youtube -y things, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, go check out the Instagram. I do post stuff as it's happening, so if you want to know what's going on, I guess, in real time, um, or if you have suggestions in real time, uh, head over there at that little truck. I almost forgot my own Instagram. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, I don't have to do it expensive with stainless and then why is the garage door so loud? And have like a hundred dollars in shipping for like a four dollar part, like normal. That is so loud. Without having it like swoop up super high as it falls off. Thank you.